What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 7 and 7 Plus and also 6S and 6S Plus and the iPad Pro on 10.1.1. So not all devices as is supported but I'll update the link in the description whenever more devices is added. But for now it's only for the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 6S and 6S Plus and also the iPad Pro. So this is my iPhone 7 Plus right here running on 10.1.1. So if I go to settings, general, about, you can see right there 10.1.1. And the things you're gonna need to do to do this jailbreak, you're gonna need to turn off your passcode lock. So turn off passcode lock and also turn off find my iPhone and your device must be plugged in and you're gonna need two downloads I have them linked in the description so basically you're gonna to go to this website you could download any one of these just download any one of these and City Impactor to download anyone for your respective device if you're on Mac or Windows or Linux you could download it for whichever computer you have so I already have them downloaded they're right here so you're gonna open up open up CD Impactor just like that and make sure you're on the latest version it should prompt you to update it if you're not on the latest version and you're just gonna drag and drop the IPA that you downloaded and drag to your desktop so this is the jailbreak tool right here we're just gonna drag it in the CD Impactor you're gonna need to put in your iTunes email and password the one that you use to download stuff all that stuff so let's just put it in there and hit the password if you have the two-step um, authentication for your Apple ID then this won't work you need to go to iTunes and turn off the two-step um, authentication before this will work then you're gonna hit that so after you do everything in CD Impactor you should get this thing right here just popped up right on your device and basically you're gonna tap on that you're done with CD Impactor and all that stuff now you just want to tap on it you won't let you go in because you're gonna to have to trust it so you're gonna to go to settings I'm gonna to go to settings general scroll all the way to profiles and device management you want to tap on your email then you want to tap right here again then you want to hit trust and you exit out go back to the application and it should crash and then Cydia should be on your device so if it doesn't crash if you just have this white screen there you go there you go so there's Cydia right there on your device after the <laughs> after it crashed you could tap on Cydia and then nothing happens so you wanna exit out or don't even have to exit out if it doesn't crash you want to force a reboot so you want to force a reboot basically I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you want to force a reboot so you want to hold down the power if you're on an iPhone 7 or 7 plus you want to hold on the power and the volume down button at the same time until your phone reboots if you're on the, anything lower than the iPhone 7 and 7 plus you want to hold the home button and the power button until your phone reboots so I'm going to do the power and the volume down button so let's hold it to your phone reboots let go and your phone should reboot you could even plug your device out now and my dog my neighbor's dog is going crazy and again this only supports iPhone 7 and 7 plus 6 S and 6S Plus and the iPad Pro. I'll update the description as soon as other devices are um, updated to, or the program is updated to support other devices. So we go in. So Cydia crashes because this is a semi tether jailbreak. So you want to, don't delete this, tap on that again. It should crash and then CDS should be working after it crashes. So every time you reboot your device you're gonna have to tap on the jailbreak 
um, program and then open Cydia again. And there we go. Just like that, Cydia is working. You could go ahead and do all kinds of stuff. You could add sources. Just like that. But the only thing is Cydia substrate, substrate isn't working. But I'm going to show you guys how to fix Cydia substrate, substrate and get all the tweaks up and running on your device. You go right here, hit refresh, and all the tweaks should come down if this is a first time jailbreak. So let's hit refresh. Reloading data. This is all the stuff right in here. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix um, Cydia Substrate. Okay guys, so after you jailbreak your device and you want to get Cydia working, but so far Cydia hasn't pushed out a mobile substrate fix as yet. So you could add a fix yourself. So I have a link in the description. You could just copy and paste it. You want to go to Sources edit and then you want to hit add in the corner and then you want to just basically paste this source in just like that and you want to hit add source it's going to go ahead and do its thing and this will get all the tweaks working at least most of the tweaks that supports iOS 10 so far working and again I, have, I don't know if I said this before but if you don't know what you're doing don't try this jailbreak you could go ahead and do it if you want but I mean don't try this jailbreak if you're not a vet but there you go we're gonna go into the repo that we just added all sources then you wanna in install substrate fix for iOS 10 confirm and let this do its thing and this only works for iOS on iOS 10.1.1 on iPhone 7 7 plus 6s and 6s plus and also the iPad Pro we wanna restart Now you want to delete out all the apps that are running in the background. You want to see they won't open. You want to tap on the app. Now see they should work. You want to close out. You want to tap on substrate. Just let it do its thing. And now. Basically, Cydia substrate should be working now. So, if I go into Cydia and let's try to download a tweak, let's see what we got. Let's download Barrel, install. And if it's keep going and it's not respringing by itself, you could do a hard reset, hard respring by yourself. So I'm just holding the, the power button and the volume down button until the phone reboots. Or if it resprings and it's just stuck on a black screen like that and you want to get it out of that, same thing. Just hold on to the, the volume down and the power button if you're on an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. If you're on a 6S below, then you're gonna have to use the home button and the power button. So I'm gonna hold the volume down and the power button. You can hold it for like 10 seconds. Then you could just release it whenever it lights up. So we have a battle right there. But let's see the isn't working. So let's let's install a jailbreak again. Oh see there's working again. So that's the whole thing with this jailbreak. It's kind of buggy. So if we go to barrel. Random. Let's see if it works. So it isn't working as yet, so let's run substrate. There we go. Now you can see the tweak is working right now. 
So all that stuff you're going to have to do every time. So let's switch it up. Just like that. And that's how you jailbreak and get substrate to work and all that kind of stuff, guys. So there you go. Sprints with ATP 101. Rate, comment, definitely subscribe. Peace. Thanks for watching.